the principal is not helping. So what is the police going to do? Hello guys, and we are back with Life is Strange. Ooh, 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 and we're going to play Out of Time. It seems like it's about to get real serious in this episode. So, yeah, let's get into it. Previous episode of Life is Strange. Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. Jesus. For reals, Warren, this is between Warren, you and me. Please. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait, wait. Is that grass? Tell me the truth. Are That's you toad net toad? I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Hopefully I make some good choices. You know. I'm thinking through. Superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Hello. Thanks, Mom. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ooh, somebody just texted me. Let's see what it is. Oh! How the heck? I will see our messages. So I'm not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Girl. Thanks, Mom. Okay, we'll do that later. I don't know. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Hmm, enchantment cards? We gotta get... First of all, we're the toothbrush. Let's stop this music because I'm getting distracted. Let's see. What's that? Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. How do we see our messages? Oh, okay. What Chloe talking about? You are evil 40 minutes or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like, oh this picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Yeah, let's take a pic. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Okay, head tilt. Um... I 
I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. She did what she did. We had to do what we had to do. I'm going to water my plant. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Hello. Not this action will have consequences. Watering a plant. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Shower supplies. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Mm, let's make sure we got everything before we just go. With all the bizarre explainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck, listening to music and staring at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. Hmm. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self. Cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill. So I explored her room to play catch up on what she was into this day these days. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. Too much time. As long as he helps me figure this out. Hey Max, the doctor is in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links without further ado. Here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send you more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation for your new found, found chrono interest. The time machine, premiere, the after time, pulp fiction, so we're in time, time slip, time cop. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Join the chrono nuts, time travel is a science fiction history as well. I mess with This him. wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Why quantum physicists try to control to as you read the words? Physicists and scientists around the world are using taxpayer funded government programs to shatter our notions of time and space, potentially altering the course of history itself. For example, Australian researchers are using photo photons to simulate quantum particles as they travel through time itself. Even though quantum time mechanics is a recent theory first predicted in 1991, it has caught fire within the scientific community who eliminated it. Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. Oh, wow. She'll spread that shit everywhere. Girl, and see, I thought that's why I, I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Ooh. Okay. Um. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. I'm not signing anything until I know it's like have more. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Okay. Okay. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Oh, God. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Let's see how we... How we... Who playing that music? Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Yeah, I don't She playing that shit, though. Victoria's playing that shit. Ow! Damn. 
hold up. They live. She'll be all right. That's a toilet tissue. I might I, I need some of that. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Alyssa, this is your last and first time. Come on. Keep her right there. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. You're welcome, Alyssa. I mess with you, girl. I mess with you. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Don't I need to go in here? What's going on? Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. Hey! Hey! Everybody's seen it by now. 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 What's up? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Oh, don't say uh, that I'm about not him. big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Oh, now she's taking it. Okay. I ain't even going, you know. What is that? That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. She said I can get one of her outfits, right? Or Trevor is making himself comfortable. Oof, hope they don't get busted. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. I guess not. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall. Not oh. her room. Oopsies. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now she I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's right. the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Some tell me this ain't her last time. She's so easy. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Um... What's up, Kate? 
Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Kate cool for real. I hope nothing happens to Kate while I'm in the shower. Please. What's up, Kate? Oh, God. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh, my God, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. You should. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. A follower. Don't have a mind of her own. <laughs> I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm... Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Right, ain't nobody. Oh my god, it's so draining being in here with you guys. Let me go in my room and put on some clothes. I can't. Oh, is my room messed up? Oh, wow. Uh, no, no fucking, fucking way. way. Mm. This is not why I came to Blackwell. Oh, it's going and on. I still have to clean all this crap up? After oh. I find Kate's book. I know it was something. I don't. Ooh. I. Get dressed. Put on some clothes. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Where is Kate Book? My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. They probably took Kate's stuff. And nothing here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix you... this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems.
Be gone, foul soft drink. Jesus. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Sometimes I forget. Now I can, I can finally take this time. back to Kate before I'm late. As y'all can see As in the previous I have episode, to worry about I could have rewind back time. I do to have hide. all the time in the world now. Uh oh, I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. All oh, this shit. Let me tidy this shit up. Cause I'm not no. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Crappy artist. Except for that whole shake or I should take a picture of it. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna just Man, this busy. could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Never cared. How the fuck we get that off the wall? I should take a photo of that shit. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Mm. Oh, she ain't Fine, I won't disturb you. What y'all want? Private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Come for me, dear. Oh, I'm ready for you, ho. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could Who be else could it be? I better be doubly careful around here or I no need to go there now. Oh. What was our task? You gotta go to Kate, return her book. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Oh, bang for Jesus. Ain't no way. Um, uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I had no choice. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank something that drink. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... Yeah. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Mm. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. Don't He's the Nathan. opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving so for a long time. Then I woke up in a room 
I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt rough. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably her. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Ouch. She left out amnation. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Kate really has a doting father. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Mm. That's fucked up. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Honestly, Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate, anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. He probably hurt you. Should I go to the police? See, they was talking about how Nathan is probably involved with the police, his family. He's already involved with the school. The principal is not helping. So what is the police going to do? I would say go to the police. But I also would say look for proof. So you can get evidence. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get like hurt that. anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can no, walk down the hall to more... calling me a viral slut. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Kate, Bye. you know. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. We do, so we can have evidence to show to the police if we go to them. Well... Let's see what the other answer says. Let's see. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. 
I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. It's like you lose, lose. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Hell no. I'm about to tell Kate ass, go get some more damn evidence. We need some more evidence so we can take it to the police. Ain't no way. I'm sticking with my answer. Kate, you know what you gotta do. Max, food. Two will, see you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Oh, not no emoji. I don't trust nobody here. Paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Mm -hmm. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Mm. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but... I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Mm. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do you I might know? be onto something. My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? You already know what Victoria did. Well, sorry to exist, Taylor. On that, we agree. Do you mind? Leaving? Thanks. No, please. My pleasure. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that the attempts to slender and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student that black was, right? As I hope you're the last. Consider this as a final polite warning. You're somebody grown. Max, you're grown check it out. Warren! Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, 
Thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs so the question, cute. why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal yeah. Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. You're really chill for real, I like you. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Well, don't know what it will steal your Hi. Ticket. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. 
Mm. It should be here by like 15 minutes, you know. Chloe, I'm on my way. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Wait, what'd she say? I'm gonna like grab a booth at the table, at the diner in my movie. Right, she better. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Mm. The Prescotts oh, have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Mm. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Store the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay, save our bay. And the main may drop in the bay. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. What the hell? There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Real nope, I don't want to go there. Okay, I gotta explore everything, guys. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Oh, we Hell, take they own your school, Blackwell, almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. 
Greedy bastards that ruined this town, put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, oh. asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Gotta take a pick, take a pick. Anyway, guys, this is it for this gameplay. We will be back playing Life is Strange again this week. I'm trying to drop two episodes of Life is Strange. A week plus a regular gameplay. Hopefully I can do it. I really want to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're out.